Oregon dominant last week against USC. Now what do they do in response on the road at Stanford where the Cardinal have yet to lose this season? Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on the College Football Preview Show presented by Tyson Any Tizers. Let's bring in CBS Sports and Spencer Tillman to get into this. And, uh, you know, Spence, you look at Oregon and emotional win last week, having to respond this week at, at Stanford. How tough is that after having to get up last week and then now have to do it again on the road here? Well, they're celebrating, but I've listened to Jeremiah Masoli, their quarterback, talk this week. Jason, I can tell you, they're grounded. He's a very mature quarterback, and that's coming from the top, Chip Kelly, his head coach. Uh, when you look at this program, they've got a great narrative, and I'm a sucker for a great story. What they have done on this run, uh, winning as many games consecutively after the opening loss to Boise State, is quite impressive. It is a story and it, that resonates, and it's simple. Uh, you can fire your, your leading rusher do the right thing and still win. Chip Kelly, in my mind, is the front runner for coach of the year because of it. And again, if they continue to win, that only adds to the story. Now you bring in LeGarrette Blount, you bring up the guy that was suspended after the Boise State game. Here in the middle part of this week as we're taping, no decision has been made yet. But I pose this to you because this offense certainly isn't broke. They had over 600 yards yeah. against USC last week. And if it isn't broke, even if he is reinstated for this game, what would you do with him because it, you've been clicking on all cylinders? Well, I think you pretty much set it up, and it's a home run that you can hit it, and it's simple. You do not a lot, okay? You don't disrupt what's already working for you. LeGarrette Blount was a great rusher. Everybody knows that. But LaMichael James, his replacement, had a career best against USC. Now, granted, USC clearly was struggling coming in, not able to tackle as well on the defensive side of the ball. But Oregon is fine from that running back position. Don't disrupt anything. Integrate him back into the flow of things slowly over time. The great objective here, is, here was teaching this guy a lesson, and I think the mission has been a accomplished in that regard. So successful job for Chip Kelly and the Oregon Ducks. All right, Spence, I got to ask you this part, though, because you talked about the loss to Boise State. Oregon is the highest uh, ranked in the BCS among the one loss teams. Right now, mm -hmm. they're behind Boise State. But if you look down the road, if Oregon is to go undefeated, would you put them, would you think it's fair to put them in the national championship game ahead of Boise State, who beat them head to head? I tell you what, the season is, is um, a maturation process, okay? So that you were able to beat Oregon in an opener if you're Boise State is one thing, all right? But teams change over the course of 11, 12 games, and they're often totally different teams, 180 degrees difference. And I think that this team right now, Oregon is a much better team than Boise State was in the opener. So, yes, I do think that they would be warranted in having the respect, should be in the discussion for the national championship, in my opinion. I'm certainly among the one-loss teams that are out there, they're tops, and they're right where they should be. All right, Spence, all this has been about Oregon. Let's talk about Stanford because, look, they're in position to make a bowl game for the first time since 2001. Yeah. They're 5-3. and three. They've yet to lose this season at home. What do they do that could be difficult for Oregon to handle? Well, listen, they got a straight inline runner, and he, he won't be any much the threat of any of the U USC backs where, you know, McKnight and all those bunch that they have there at USC are more athletic type runners. What they're going to face in Stanford's running back contingent are guys who will run down hill at you behind their football pads with a tremendous amount of power and forward lean. I think that poses less of a trouble spot than it does for USC's runners. USC's runners, again, you got to be breaking down in your fundamental football tasks and make sure you're sound as far as tackling is concerned to have success against them. You don't have to worry about that against Stanford. They're not nearly as athletic as USC's running backs are. No, they're not. Toby Gerhardt, though, does lead the uh, the conference in rushing at over 125 yards a game. Are you, so you're, it doesn't sound like you're worried at all about a letdown game at all here from Oregon. It doesn't sound like that's coming no. from you. Oregon is completely focused. I mean, when you listen to how they play, the, the way they've been, look, this is nothing new to them, Jason. They've been dominant, dominating their conference opponents ever since the, they started conference play. I mean, the, the, the hiccup that they had at the beginning of the season was one thing, but just watch and take a snapshot of the four conference, five conference games they've had since that time. They have been, their dominance has been total and complete. All right, we'll see how it all plays out uh, Saturday afternoon. Spencer Tillman, thank you very much, sir. All right, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, for more on this game, stay right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the college football preview show presented by Tyson Any Tizers, the meaty good man snack. For Spencer T., I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.